welcome to December 18th, 2009, the sixth work day of the week, the day we call Preparation Day for the Sabbath. Well, brethren, let's get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry. Knowledge and Wisdom Comes from Above, Day 352 of the year 2009. Again, it's time to open up the Bible so that you can read along with me, brethren. I suggest you write the chapter and verse down on a pad and paper so that you can be able to go back and study the whole context that we give you at your own leisure. And you'll be under, be able to understand more of it as we go along. Well, brethren, you can use the pause button down here in the corner so that uh, you can start and stop this study so that you can find your place in the letter that the God gave to you, your Bible. Well, because I do go through faster than most of us can find it in our own Bible. Let's start with John chapter 8 and verse 32. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Very, very true. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. That means if the Spirit has come into you, there is liberty. Romans chapter 8 and verse 2. The law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. That is, if you're following his way, you won't do no sin. If you go the other way, then all that there law of sin and death is again what's up on is up on you. John chapter eight and verse thirty six. If the Son shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Galatians chapter four and verse thirty one. Brethren, we are not children of a bondswoman, but of the free. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 16. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of law, but by the faith Jesus Christ, even if we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. James chapter 1 and verse 25. Whoso is looking into the perfect law of liberty and is continuing therein, he be not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work. This man shall be blessed in his deeds. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 1 reads, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Wisdom comes from above. The Lord will reward. Punishment will not be escaped. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 5 reads, Every one who is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though they join forces, none will go unpunished. Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 5. He who mocks the poor reproaches his maker. He who is glad in calamity will not go unpunished. Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 9. A false witness will not go unpunished. Pardon me. And he who speaks lies will perish. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21. Your ear shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it. Here's a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. Into thine hand, O God of truth. Psalms chapter 31 and verse 5 reads, Into thy hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust. 
never in the tradition of men. Beware the tradition of men that make void the word of God. From the verses we just read, if you don't study the whole context of what it's talking about, you will be on the wrong path. Our tradition of men will read these same verses and lead you astray. That's right. If you're following Christ on his narrow path, you will not sin. But if you're on that broad path, you're going to pay the penalty of sin. Go back and read uh, Deuteronomy chapter 27 and 28. Yes, that's Old Testament, but it's carried through to the New Testament. The, law, the thing still stands where you have the plagues and the everything that can go against you. Also, it gives you the blessings. In chapter 28 of Deuteronomy, you have six plagues and six blessings. You get to follow the one you want. Remember, over 10% of the recorded words of God is quoted directly from the Old Testament. Brethren, do you want to change and find that narrow path that leads to the kingdom and salvation? Get down on your knees and repent of listening to the tradition of men. Ask the Father to show you, to give you the wisdom and knowledge of his way of life. And if you truly want to change in your heart, the Father will show you and lead the way. Brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day.